then marry those that please you of other women, two or three or four. But if you fear that you will not be just, then marry only one. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You're listening to the Naqabi Dari series, Polygyny Talks. What follows is a sister's account of her experience with polygyny. Due to the nature and sensitivity of the topic, some sisters have chosen to remain anonymous. This series was put together in a humble attempt to gain a better understanding of the relevance of polygyny in our times and how it is practiced. Please be respectful in your comments. Finally, I thank all the sisters who have taken part by sharing their stories. May Allah bless you and your families with an abundance of khair in this world and the next. And may Allah Allah accept from us. Amen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Samar from the Naqabi Diaries podcast. Alhamdulillah, we have another episode today of the Polygyny Talks, and we have with us a sister to share her experiences in polygyny. Mashallah. Tabarakallah. Um, sister, welcome to this episode. Could you please introduce yourself to the listeners and tell us how you got into polygyny, inshallah? Wa alaikum salam. Um, yeah, alhamdulillah, now almost uh, two years I'm living in uh, polygamy and um, so could you talk us through how did that happen yes even I didn't know her it was not like close friend or something but I just met her one time in the street and we talked a little bit and then uh, she said to me we uh, um, that she want to keep uh, stay in contact with me and this and that and then uh, after a few times, Annie, we talk, and then she asked me if I would accept to be second wife. Okay, so then what happened next? Was you was it something that you had considered before? Uh, first, I was living in second, like I was second wife, but we was not living together or something. I didn't know the other wife. But for me this time, it was a little bit tough because I have two children, and the situation is tough. So I said, I mean, I'm, I did the stakhara and when it will happen, it will happen. If not, then yes. Okay, so you, you, your first husband that you was married, you was a second wife, and now you are married with your second marriage, mm-hmm. and you are second wife again. So, mashallah. Are you from a Muslim background, sister, or are you a revert? Yes. No, no, I'm uh, Muslim background. Okay, alhamdulillah. And then, um, so is, is it something that is practiced in your culture, the polygyny itself? Is that something normal in your culture that is common? No, this is not normal. My family, we don't have this. Okay, so how did your fa- how did your parents feel about you, you know, getting into a polygyny? You know, I'm now uh, 25 years old and, like, I'm old and I know what I do. And my father, he's saying to me if I'm happy... And he's happy like this. And my mother, she's not, uh, she's not Muslim, and she's not talking to me about these things. Okay. Okay, alhamdulillah. So, um, right. So you met your co-wife, and then she um, basically asked you if you would like to basically be, you know, her co-wife. So, yeah. Yeah. how long did that process take? I think maybe one week. Really? Yes. So, so um, did you, how did it go? Did she interview you, or you was interviewing her, or like, how did it work out? No, at first she asked me, and then I was agreed on this. Then she was asking me some questions from his side, and I was asking, and then we was talking. Like I don't know him, and he didn't know me like this. So, when did you get to speak with your husband to like find out if he was somebody that you would want to marry? Oh. Um, and really, we don't speak like face to face until then we make the marriage contract. But how did you know that you wanted to marry him? Like I talk with her on the phone, and then I was asking her questions, and he was asking from his side, and then we talk <clears throat> also on the phone, like message and like this only. Okay, alhamdulillah. So, did, would you say, um, did you encounter any kind of difficulties during the process? Um, you know, the first, it was a little bit difficult because of uh, um, jealousy and this and that. Mm-hmm. But then it was okay. 
I'm just okay. Okay, alhamdulillah. So, um, so what what are your current arrangements now? Are you living in the same house altogether, or do you have separate accommodation? First, we were living in one house in mm-hmm. Colonia, and uh, then we moved, and now I have I have my own house, and she has her own house, but we're living like uh, together. So, um, one door is beside the other door. Oh, so mm-hmm. like neighbors. Yeah, and we still we have contact with other women. We go sit together, we eat together. Okay, alhamdulillah. And what about the children? Do they mix with each other as well? Do they get to interact? Only me, I have children. She don't have any children. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, inshallah. So, um, how, how, how long was she married to your husband before um, you got married to him as well? Uh, she was married three years. Okay. Okay, and did she did she have any particular reason specifically for looking for a co-wife, or was it just like you know just like a, like a similar thing? Was there any specific reason? No, she no that I was a widow and I have children, and I wanted to care about uh, orphans. Those are the reason. Okay, alhamdulillah. So, what what is your relationship with your co-wife now since you um you know since you've been in this marriage? Is it a good relationship? Yeah, alhamdulillah, we have a good relationship. I, and for sure there's problems, there's jealousy, and but alhamdulillah, yani, we wife, yani, we women, we have together a uh, good relation, and yani, we don't have any problems together. Okay, alhamdulillah. But I'm telling you, this is also a very, um, this is also from the side of the man. If you know how to treat the woman, and how to give the limits, then it will be very good. Of course. So is is he providing for both of you financially and everything? Are you taking care of? He is uh and humbly is trying to do the best and he, he is uh giving her her hack and me my hack. If he brings something he is uh, giving uh, and he he's not bringing something for her and not bringing it for me. No, he is bringing for her and he's bringing it for me. Like and he never do something like uh, he, yani, he's, alhamdulillah, he's, yani, I don't know what to say in English, uh, Adel. Yeah, they're right. He's just, he's just, yeah, Adel is yeah, just. Yeah, yeah, he's no. just, yes. Alhamdulillah. Mm-hmm. So, um, what, what qualities would you say are important for a woman to have in order to be in polygyny? Look, for me, I'm telling you, a polygyny is, is very difficult. It's not very difficult. It's, it has a positive side and negative side. Like, um, for me, <clears throat> I have, uh, I have uh, two children before, from the marriage before. And now I have one son from him and I am pregnant. And, uh, like the days he's not here, and humbly I'm busy with the children, and I don't have anything like, uh, you know, I'm busy keeping busy in the house and the children. And, uh, the negative thing is like, and if husband is not uh, 24 hours with you, and there's a key, uh, and it, uh, of course there will be um, jealousy and this, but alhamdulillah, yani, if you know how to hold yourself and, and healthy, jealousy is normal. Every woman is jealous. Okay, yes, yeah, definitely. So, um, how do you navigate um, like the jealousy? Like when you feel jealousy, what do you do? How do you control those kinds of feelings? Sometimes when I'm jealous, uh, yeah, then he comes to the house and I am angry and this, and he feel oh, there is something like I will get angry now. Then he know how to stop me, hey, like how to keep me down. But um, like before, there was uh, a lot of problems first, but after. Like uh, no, yeah, and, um, after I have the, I have the, I have, I got a son from him. Like the relation also changed a lot. Like because every time he keeps remembering me, yeah, and, like I am someone special to him. Like I am the first woman to give him a child, and like um, yeah, it's a little bit better than before. Okay, alhamdulillah. So. Would you say that you're happy in your marriage right now? Are you happy with, every, with how things are going? Do you feel that, you know, everything's good for you, for example, like? Yeah, yes, it can be, yes. 
And what about like the love relationship as well? Because often people think that in polygyny that, you know, you can't really love somebody or that, you know, maybe the love would not be, I don't know, you know, people don't understand how love works in polygyny. Yes, but also the first time when I married him, I don't know him. I never speak to him. But uh, after some, I mean, you learn a person. Not, uh, you know, when you marry him, you, learn, you know this person. And you knowing him. Uh, and then you start to love him. It's not, it's not possible to have love before marriage. Okay, okay. So um, your children from your previous marriage, do they understand, um, you know, that your husband has another wife? And even in, because you said that even in your first marriage, that was also polygyny as well. So did they understand the concept of polygyny that, you know, their father had more than one wife? Well, the, the first, they don't, they don't understand. They don't know. <clears throat> but uh, uh, now... My children are still small, they're not so big. The biggest one is only five years old. You understand, like, uh, my father is not sleeping every night here. Like, sometimes he's asking Mama where he will sleep today, where he will go today. And then I will say to, to him to ask, he will come. Or I will say to him, he will go to the other house. Like this, sometimes he say, oh, he will not come to us, he will go to the other house. Like, you know, like, he doesn't have two houses. And uh, for the children, there's also, like, I feel when he go and when he come back that I miss him and they're happy when he come back. Okay, alhamdulillah. So um, what about the relationship between your children and your husband that you have now? Like, what is that relationship like? My children, they don't know the father. And for them, my my son and my daughter, they think to him, Baba. And I also, like this time, I, um, it's for me difficult to teach them straight away because they're still small, they don't understand. Sometimes I'm trying to teach them a little bit, but to not go inside the mind, because it's very small. So for now, also my small daughter, the first time she said, Baba, she said to my husband, like she don't know anyone else. Uh, and alhamdulillah, my husband also, he don't have, he don't have any um, difference between my children and his child. Like he, alhamdulillah, to both, the, like he's good to them. Alhamdulillah. So he, he treats them all the same then, is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, all the same, sir. Alhamdulillah. So you don't feel that he, 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 because, you know, I have to ask these questions because, you know, some people are saying now online that, you know, if, you, if you're a single mother, for example, and you get married, um, your husband will never accept your children or he will never see them like his own children or he's going to treat them differently. So... Is that what you're saying? That your husband treats all of your children the same, whether they're, you know, his his uh, biological children or not? You know, inside the heart, there's a key. Uh, there's uh, for sure there's something because it's his blood, his child. But um, and, like he's uh, treating them like the same. I'm glad your your marriage was arranged, but you know it was quite quick as well. Um, you know, since your co-wife is the one that um, arranged it. And um, it's, it's just interesting as well. I would like to know more about your experiences in polygyny. Um, your, your first marriage, for example, how long was you uh, married? I was married for married for, for four years, but uh, my first marriage is, it was not pregnant. I married and um, then after he got killed, you know, and I was pregnant, and then I married again. And this uh, the second marriage was. Um, uh, and the father of my daughter, he was, uh, he had the other wife and I was the second wife. But I didn't know her and uh, she was far, she was living very far from me. Okay, subhanAllah. So your first marriage, your husband was killed, he said? Yes, yes. And then you had a second marriage and you was the second wife? Yes. And this is your third marriage? Yes. Okay, so your your second marriage, what happened there? With the husband, did he pass away as well? No, we divorced. Okay, okay. So, you, so this your third marriage, alhamdulillah, from polygyny. So, um, yes. your second marriage that you had was also polygyny. So, how did you how did you get that marriage? Like, if if you don't mind me asking. 
Was that arranged as well? Yeah, this marriage was arranged uh, uh, from a friend's, uh, from my friend's husband. And uh, also it, it was very fast. Like I, uh, he said, as a brother, he want to marry, and you do istikhara if it's good, then you need to a lot. If it's not good, then fair. Yeah, I saw him, and we both agreed, and then um, yeah, the second day we married. It was also very fast. Okay, subhanAllah. So, um, why um, do you think that marriage, like, what what about that marriage made it not work, basically? What happened that you got divorced? Was it an issue with the co-wife, or, you know, was there some other kind of issues? No, it was some kind, uh, other kind of issues between me and him, and okay. it was not going well, good, and, yeah. Okay, okay. So, um, what 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 kind of qualities do you think a woman needs to have in order to practice polygyny? You know, uh, all women they can do it, but there's some women they will be like, "Oh, it's not possible. I cannot share my husband." You know, this thing is in our mind. This is from the not from the West, but we have idols. And you know, our Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he had, he was living and he was the best man of all. You know, of all. And yeah, and he, you know, he teach us, and yeah, Hansel also his wife they teach us. Uh, it's also uh, mentioned a lot, a lot of hadith that uh, the woman also was jealous, and jealousy this is something very normal. You know, the biggest problem is in polygamy for the women is the sharing of the husband and the jealousy, but. You know, the, this is the smallest thing. If you're inside, then you will see the more the benefit in the in this marriage, inshallah. Inshallah, alhamdulillah. So, um, for your co-wife, does your do your children do they also spend their time with her as well? Do they have a good relationship with her? Yes, they have good relationship with her. They're playing together. They're going even now. My son, you know, uh, um. He's also there, he's going to her, sitting, playing. Yeah, it's very normal. Like, they, they, for them, she's a part of the family. It's not someone, uh, um, so, it's some, uh, someone f- uh, from the family. Okay, alhamdulillah, that's good. Alhamdulillah. And, um, what kind of, uh, what kind of benefits do you think, um, you get through polygyny? What are some of the benefits? You know, the benefit in the polygamy is, uh, um, there's a lot, you know. Like today, it's not my day. Every time he remember me what to do. Like, uh, I have to spend my time um, to read Quran and um, do benefitly things, you know, and uh, I learn about my religion. And, you know, also there's one day is all for you and your children. You can take care of them. Like in the other days also we'll take care of them. But I'm saying like, you, 24 hours only for them, like, not when, like, Baba is there. Yeah, this is, this is the, when he's not around and I have time for me. And I have time for the children, time for the house. Like, what, when he's here, I, what I'm not doing, I will do these things. And even he's not here, the time is flying so fast, like, the day is, uh, I'm not feeling that, you know, when you're with children, busy. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. And also, even he's not here, but he's uh, asking me, he's, uh, like he's my neighbor, you know, he's uh, here around, you need something, the children need something, yeah, this. Okay, alhamdulillah, mashallah. And then um, what advice would you give to uh, any other sister who was thinking about getting involved in polygyny? My advice is don't, uh, don't to listen to the negative things because when you hear about polygamy, you will have first the negative things. The most will say, oh, no, there will be so much problems and this. And so much jealousy, but you know, when you're inside, then you will see this is different. And, and uh, it's not every time easy, but uh, I, alhamdulillah, I didn't regret that I married, you know, someone who married before. Okay, alhamdulillah. And then, um, what about your timing? Because you said obviously it's not your day to day. So do you have like your? Se- you said you, he separates like equally with time and you know all these kinds of stuff. So um, you feel that your there's a good balance. Yeah, alhamdulillah. My husband, 
He leaves from the house uh, um, like 11.30. Then he go to the other house. And when is the next day, 11.30, he come to me. Like he's spending uh, 24 hours, like giving the time. And in the day, if you have work and this day, and this is not uh, calculated, but, but the day is start uh, 11.30. Alhamdulillah. Um, sister, could I ask you about your ethnic background? Uh, like you said, you're um, you're not you're not a Reba, you're from a Muslim background. So, um, you know, which like country? Are you, like, are you African? Are you Asian? And which country are you living in now? Yeah, okay I, to ask that. Uh, I am uh, Moroccan. Yeah, but I'm living uh, now. I'm in Syria. Oh really? How long about it? So, which, um, yeah. okay, which part of Syria are you living in? And how, like, how is the condition in Syria? In this Idlib area. Idlib? Alhamdulillah, yes. Wow, subhanAllah. So please tell us something about Syria. You're bringing us news from there because, like, a lot of us, we don't know, like, you know, we have live updates from Syria um, on the Instagram. That's why I see a lot of the information about Syria. But apart from that, I don't really know anything. Like, how is the situation there? Yes, subhanAllah, in this day, it's a little bit of... The situation is a little bit uh, crazy because I don't know you heard what happened uh, to Afrin and this. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, because of uh, this areas now we don't have um, gas and no benzene. Subhanallah, Allah make it easy for all of you. Yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. Allah. So how long have you lived there? I'm living now almost uh, seven years in Syria. Wow, Subhanallah. Wow. I'm delighted. Jazakallah khair, sister. Thank you so much for your time. I've enjoyed talking to you and hearing about some of your experiences in um, polygyny and also the fact that you obviously had the arranged marriage as well. I'm delighted. So it's, it's really beneficial to hear a different perspective, very different perspective, alhamdulillah. And I'm sure that, inshallah, so the sisters listening will have more insight, greater insight to, um, you know, how polygyny um, can be practiced um, because of your um, experience, alhamdulillah. Jazakallah khair that I was a part of and to talk with you and uh, to tell you about my story. So I hope it was benefit. Inshallah. Wa iyaki, sister. Wa iyaki. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam.